so right now it's uh, 2 20 we'll just freshen up and then our plan is to explore Vyanad so our first spot would be Banasura Dam we'll be going there first it is around 25 to 26 kilometer away from uh, Old Baitri so I will tell you about the dam I will show you the place around the dam what activities we have everything yeah so then let's start exploring Vyanad before we head towards Panasura Dam, we'll have some lunch. Kerala is incomplete without trying Keralian cuisine. So we visited a local restaurant to try some of their food. We took Kerala veg meal and Kerala chapati with chicken cooked in coconut oil. After lunch, we drove through beautiful lush greenery and tea plantation towards the Banasura Sagar Dam. It was 27 kilometers away from our hotel and took around 30 minutes to reach. This is the parking area of Banasura Sagar Dam. The parking charge is 50 rupees per vehicle. This is the main entrance of the dam and the ticket price is 40 rupees per adult. Lots of sports and water activities like kayaking, zorbing, etc. can be done here. The price for each such activity is listed here. So guys, we have reached at the first sightseeing spot in Vyanad. We have reached Banasura Sagar Dam. It is one of the popular destination in Vyanad and it is considered to be the largest earth-filled dam in India and second largest in Asia of its kind. So yeah, the entrance charges were 40 rupees per head and there were charges for videography and photography uh, separate but for cameras not for mobile phones. So yeah, we are now going towards the dam and I will show you the dam and I think there are additional water activities that also take place here. So we'll just check out what are the activities that happen here. We'll just see if, if any of the sport activity, I mean water activity is worth it. So now let's go and check the dam out. So basically you have to hike from here till the dam and the hike is for one kilometer and takes around I think 20 to 25 minutes. And there is also traveler bus service. So those who are not willing to walk can get the ticket counters there, fan ticket counter and the ticket rates are 15 rupees per head one way and 25 rupees per head both the ways. So we are opting to get the ticket for both the ways uh, because we are running short of time. Yeah, it's already 4.30 p.m. and this uh, dam closes at 6.30 p.m. So you have zip lining as well. The zip lining there are more activities that happen here I will try to show you if I come across any um, so this is the I mean the trail from where you have to like walk and then you have to go up up there After waiting for 5 minutes, the traveller bus arrived and we boarded it. So we have reached the Banasura Sagar Dam. We came by the traveller bus and it did not even take 5 minutes. Like it's easily walkable. If you're planning to come here, you can actually walk and come. Uh, because there are stairs as well. So you can just climb up the stairs and you can reach this place. Yeah, you really do not need to take the traveller bus unless and until if there is any senior citizen or anyone is physically challenged. So 
guys this is the beautiful banasura sagar dam it has been named after the asur banasura and right now it's raining so i really don't know if we will be able to do the water activities or not but however i could see that few speed boats are still functioning well let's see well so this is madhipur zip line we'll first explore the dam we'll see the surrounding and then we'll see if we can do the zip line or not because if it is raining uh The dam has become a popular tourist destination. Many people visit the place to go trekking at the Banasura hill and speed boating at the dam. Speed and pedal boats are available and are major hits with tourists. Speed boat ride in particular is an exhilarating experience and not to be missed. On the other side of the dam is this lush greenery and monsoon just added glory. There is a proper passage in between the water body and the lush greenery to walk. The walk was really relaxing and the scenery was too good. I would highly recommend everyone to visit this place. it was constantly raining so we did not do the speed boating or other activity here but we really enjoyed the place this place is so scenic and one must add this place definitely to wayanad itinerary so guys this was banasura sagar dam it's very beautiful place very scenic very photogenic place so you can like walk over the dam and then you have this dam reservoir and then green landscape so it's a perfect place to explore in wayanad i really liked this place this was banasura sagar dam i really hope that you are liking the videos this was all about uh, exploring wayanad in the first day so from here now i guess we'll be heading back to the parking area where our car is waiting for us so we came by traveler bus and will return by traveler bus as well since we booked two way tickets Then we boarded the traveler bus, returned to the parking lot, and drove back to our hotel. So I am back to hotel from Banasura Sagar Dam. So today we could explore only one place because it started raining heavily, and also it was already 6 p.m. So tomorrow I will be exploring other places in Wayanad. The only problem in Wayanad is that. All the sightseeing places are very far from each other so you get to explore maximum of two places in one day so yeah that's the problem so let's see what we explore tomorrow we are still deciding well i will show those places in the next vlog and if you are watching my video uh, for the first time then please subscribe like share hit the bell icon for notification and i will meet you in the next vlog Till then take care bye